Hello guys and welcome back to the Zhang Investing. In today's video, we will discuss the force close for AMC and AMC trading above $72 as well as other topics. Ensure that you watch until the very end. Now, the first topic of discussion will be the force close with AMC. As you can see, on July 12, 2023, AMC remains on the list of threshold securities. Keep in mind that this is the 12th day and that if you are still on the threshold list on the 13th day, you are expected to close your positions for that particular stock. Now, we know that in the past AMC has been on the threshold list for more than 13 days and for up to 23 days before it was magically removed and no buying pressure was exerted on the stock. Consequently, this is something I wish to quickly include. Furthermore, tomorrow will be the 13th day. Therefore, we shall examine the T plus 13th. Now, this is not the primary reason why we are discussing the AMC force close. The main point is that this is a component of it. With the conversion of APE to AMC, however, we're definitely anticipating a significant increase in APE's volume and volume of movement. The first observable fact is that AMC utilization is 98%. So what we're observing now is a doubling of shorts. The reason this has to do with the force close is because we were at 83% yesterday and are now at 98.87%. Are there attempts to suppress the price of AMC? Now, it didn't really work out for them, as AMC is still at 4.4 with an increase of 0.23%. Again, it is currently very difficult to acquire AMC shares, and shorting the company is extremely expensive. Therefore, all of these factors combined are causing difficulty for these short sellers. But the reason why all of this is relevant and interconnected is because they must reduce the price. They must reduce it as much as possible, because if the conversion were to occur, many other things would inevitably occur as well. First, there is a change in the QZIP number. Now, this is a topic we've discussed many times before, so I will only briefly review it. The cues of number change can initially reveal how many synthetics and naked shorts AMC has. In addition, the change in the cues of number can force short sellers to close in on their position. And again, if they were to be forced closed, whether it's the T plus 13 or the cues of number change, they would want to do so at the lowest possible price, which is why we're observing an increase in utilization and why we're likely to observe an increase in the suppression of AMC price. Now I'm sure that many people will argue that AMC should decline because APE stock price will rise as a result of conversion. People will not be selling their AMC vehicles in order to purchase APE, so I do not believe this is the reason. Even if they do, they will not constitute the majority. Consequently, we are aware that these short sellers are extremely, extremely terrified and panicking. Now I'm discussing why AMC will surpass $72 because the company's share price is currently at an all-time high. So short of 148 million, 102 million were sold short when the price reached $77. The cost of credit is 1,000%. This is not typical. It quacks and waddles like a duck. It's probably Memphis Mats in its simplest form. No reason to sell if we are paid. Consequently, this is our current circumstance. Again, I will elaborate on why it is difficult to short AMC. After yesterday's borrowing of 150,000 shares at $977 per share, we had two shares available at $974.09 per cent. Only two shares are available today. Consequently, this is the current difficulty in locating AMC shares. Again, 974.9 is still astronomically high. Therefore, they pay a substantial amount of money for AMC. Consequently, AMC and APE are currently affected by a multitude of factors, and we are currently in a period where a great deal of things are adding up for us. Numerous factors give us the upper hand to force hedge funds and short sellers into a corner, and it is highly probable that we will soon be witnessing history. Now, as previously stated, there will not always be a specific date for AMC because we know that in order for AMC to squeeze, there must be a number of factors, but primarily on the short seller side, whether synthetics get out of hand, they run out of money, or they default on margin calls, all of these things are part of a wider squeeze. What occurs? Thus, there is no specific date, but we can see that all of these factors are increasingly likely to occur very soon. 
Thus, this is a cause for great excitement. Now, another reason why we're discussing the conversion, why we're noticing that these individuals are attempting to get rid of AMC, and of course, are afraid of these forced closes, is that they are attempting to copy the AMC aftermarket. Therefore, dark activity must be the largest share size I've ever encountered. 100 million shares traded at 196 and 197 after hours. So this is for Ape, where 50 million arrive at 196, followed by another. 50 million arriving at 197. Therefore, 100 million AIP shares in total. Now, obviously, we are aware that if it were converted to AMC, they could technically use it to cover their AMC shares. However, AIP shorts will also be incorporated into AMC shorts. However, this may just be a tactic they are currently employing. This already reveals what they fear and what they must do, since they would not be purchasing so many AIP shares if there were no reason to do so. Remember, if we take a look at AIP right now, we'd have already discussed the upcoming contest at 197, 194, and 203. Those of you who have viewed my videos and potentially invested in these shares are, of course, up a substantial amount and will be when the conversion for AMC occurs. However, what we observe here is that they are willing to purchase this item at a very low price. Previously, they stated that the item was not worth purchasing. Prior to this, they were short AIP due to the fact that it was added to the FTP list soon after being listed on the exchange. However, they are now purchasing 100 million AIP through the dark pool. Asking oneself, why are they doing all of this if there is no justification for it, is a reasonable way to determine the answer. Peter Hunter himself stated that 100 million shares were traded in the AIP aftermarket with no price movement, while only a few hundred thousand shares were traded in the AMC aftermarket. I don't even pretend to understand how or why they're doing the swap of some sort, but extending term like we discussed, it's very likely that they're doing all of this to help them recover as much as possible before the conversion and delay it as much as possible. We do not know what is happening in their mind. So, even if it were to run to $72, the price they must pay now is likely to be 444 times, or even 10 times, what it would have been. When the ANC was at 72, it was at 77 at the time. Consequently, again, the sum total of these factors gives us a distinct advantage. Now, if we consider the technical analysis for AMC and APE 8 closing at 197, the region between 194 and 203 is extremely bullish. What we should be on the lookout for is the likelihood that AMC will now contest the second zone, coming in at 241 and 244. Therefore, if you still wish to invest in AMC, this is something to keep in mind if you examine AMC. As previously stated, AMC will be contesting this zone at 453 and 462. And if we are able to obtain a close by the end of the week, we will be extremely, extremely bullish, but you should be aware that they will attempt to bring the price down. And thanks for watching, everyone. I'll catch up with you all next time.